Scroll down a little bit. Scroll down a little bit. Scroll down a little bit. Right here. Okay. All right, people. Okay, 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 okay. So, here's the point. Um, this this all stems from you know it, it's the new school versus the old school. You know, Nicki Minaj is in a very interesting stage of her career. I'm, I'm going to speak just completely free and open. Nicki's in a very interesting part of her career. Now, you might be like, what does this got to do with Nicki? This, everything has to do with Nicki. The whole female game is controlled by somehow Nicki or Cardi, okay? Everybody, like, and most people fall up as being pawns under both of them, right? Basically, Car Cardi, um, and we're not talking about necessarily rap skill or talent or anything like that. We're just talking about how rap has gone for females in a, in a while, Everybody comes in calling themselves the queen. And what happens is like it's basically like a, you know, um, it's like a monarch in, in a way where, you know, there's just a bunch of queens that succeed themselves. Right. So before before, of course, Nicki Minaj, we had Lil' Kim. And when Lil' Kim was here, there was a whole kind of campaign and a really like, you know, separation of the industry and a really a bitter one, too, where Kim and Nicki clearly, you know, there was pretty much odds there. Because Nikki was the new girl and Lil' Kim was the was the old wave, you know what I mean? And not calling her old or anything, but, you know, shit, it just is what it is. The new generation of females were becoming barbs. They they love Nikki. That's just what it was, right? Again, unfortunately, when it comes to female rap, it it's almost like it's not a passing of the torch. It's like, yo, you got to throw the old chick out the castle in a way, right? And um, while that happened, you know, there's a lot of people that had resentment, you know, I, I Shit, some people believe that, you know, um, like say even Charlemagne getting jumped, they believe that was a a, a, a a fucking byproduct of comments he made about Lil' Kim. Lil' Kim also had came up to the Breakfast Club to kind of address certain shit about her and Nicki. Like, it's, it's, a, it's a whole bunch of stuff. And I'm just trying to show you the origin. You know, um, somebody's going to take this and be like, well, I, yo, you're just attributing everything to it. Like, if you know, you know, let's keep it real, right? So essentially what's happening now, right? Like we're in 2022. Nicki Minaj is about like how old is Nicki? Nicki's turning forty, I believe, this year, right? How old is Nicki Minaj? So Nicki Minaj is turning forty in December, right? She's turning forty in December, and what happens is just naturally there's a new group of not only artists but also young women who want some of them they love the, the old monarch or whatever, but they, they want a new queen. You know what I mean? And then you're finding out that she's finally having some adver uh, uh, adversity. Remember the first, like, you know, um, 14 years, or actually first 10 years of, like, Nikki's career when she's hot? She would just get nominated for every female award and win everything. There was no competition. She was just, like, yo, completely just killing the whole fucking um, field. And that's just what it was. Until Cardi came around. Actually, there's a few people who came before that were possible contenders, but Nikki scared all them off. You know, Nikki could rap better than most people, and Nikki got a huge fan base called the Barbs that bully a lot of people, right? You know, I remember, uh, what's that girl, Miley Cyrus? She was hopping in and out of, you know, she was cosplaying as, like, a twerker. Um, they got her out of here quickly. There was Iggy Azalea. They got her out of here early. Nikki had, Nikki has never been welcoming, pretty much, for a new, I won't say competitor, but someone else to share in the throne. And what I mean by the throne is that, think about it. When we think about male rappers who are like the kings of the shit right now, we can name a few. We could say Lil Baby, one of them. We could say Drake. We could say Kendrick. We could say Cole. And even though you might like one over the other, and if I ask you your top three, you might rank him, whatever the case is, there's just many people that share in, in what you would call this you know, dynamic for males. When it comes to females, it's almost like they treat the shit like it's, again, like a monarch. It's like there's a queen and then peasants. So essentially they've been disrupting what's going on because people have now started to fuck with Cardi. And and another thing that probably throws a monkey wrench into it, a lot of it is because of Cardi's personality. They love Cardi's personality. It kind of helps them to like the music. I don't think nobody thinks Cardi's a better rapper than um, Nicki, but that's just what it is. Okay, let me keep advancing this conversation. So... What's happened over the years, and Cardi and Nicki got into it, we saw that the Met Gala, Cardi had a whole knot on her head, and obviously Nicki Minaj kind of like went back and forth and kind of said there was a, a, a Nicki hate train. Cardi at that time was, you know, signed to Solid Foundation. Her man, Offset, is in the Migos. The Migos clearly was under QC. This was happier times, not current day, where Offset is just rolling solar with this woman. Anyway, 
At that time, we hear a group that burst onto the scene around after 2018. Remember, motorsport was a whole thing. But also, remember, um, right after Drake drops uh, 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 his last project, right, which was uh, Scorpion, which had a bunch of, or, or was it was it Scorpion that had, no, it wasn't Scorpion that had, like, what album was, Yeah, yeah, it was that. Yeah, Scorpion, like, yo, was it the Kiki, do you love me, all that shit? Kiki, do you love me, right? In my feelings, right? I think that was on Scorpion, yeah. Uh, was it? Let me just go to Genius. In, that's In My Feelings. Damn, am I forgetting Drake songs that was on, on albums? Holy. That handy doing a wonder on me. I'm playing. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, it was on Scorpion, right? So she's rap he's rapping about like this was we kind of got that New Orleans bounce in there and JT and Young Miami was on the joint, you know what I mean? He's literally rapping about um um I didn't I, I realized later Kiki is his ex, right? But he also says uh maybe later in the shit. Okay. Risha, do you love me? All that shit. JT, do you love me? Riding for me. Anyway, that was pretty much the introduction at least for me for the City Girls. City Girls come out then. Then they have a breakout song called Act Up. That shit was written by Yachty. Everybody knows it. Real ass bitch, give a fuck about a nigga, all that type of stuff. Great. They come in the game. They're into this ratchet, ratchet, like, you know, girl empowerment era of music where Cardi already was kind of popping shit in when she came out with Bodak Yellow and just kind of just being ratchet and showing up and turning up on her on her Instagram live. A lot of women were kind of folding into that mold. So, you know what I mean? The city girls was just, you know, there's a whole city girl thing and city boys. It is what it is. Okay. So why am I saying that? Because this is a QC type of thing, right? So this is Cardi who kind of kicks the door down a little bit. She's leading a new wave. City girls come underneath it, blah, blah, blah. And um, Nikki and Cardi, they're beefing. Okay. Fast forward to 2022. A lot of things has changed. Um, first of all, Cardi ain't putting out enough music like that. By the way, Cardi by in the back in, back in the day did a song with them, Cardi B City Girls. The the song is called Twerk, very successful song. It does a lot of streams. Okay, um, keep in mind, I personally don't think City Girls have had that many hits by themselves, um, or even after Act Up. I think after Act Up, it's kind of it's been you know the. It's not like they're just killing us with anthems all the time. But, you know, they catch one here and there. Anyway, this was a sense about Cardi B. I guess long story short, people figured, and unfortunately, you know, everybody told my young boy and, and um, um, uh, what's, what's his name? Young boy and Dirk. A lot of people figure, like, you got to pick a side. Well, when it comes to the female rapper, you definitely got to pick a side. So a lot of people figure, okay, well, they're on Cardi's side. They're signed to QC. Cardi's boyfriend is on QC. Cardi signed to Solid Foundation. It all makes sense. The and third. But in 2022, Offset no longer on QC. Offset doing a solo thing. Offset rocking with his girl. His girl is backing him up, right? His girl is basically not rocking with P and QC over their situation. Of course, his wife is going to be backing him up. They have separated from QC. And I'm guessing that that label loyalty shit is out the window um, because I don't know if it's timing, but we never seen JT do a song with Nicki. We never heard her really be too complimentary of Nicki. Actually, we heard a diss song prior to her being famous of Nicki, which made it all shit, the whole shit work out of where she fell um, because she fell over the QC side. Now she's doing a song with Nicki and she's apologizing for dissing Nicki. OK, OK, so you can imagine tensions already going on, right? Remember, you helped put the city girls on by you giving them a hot song, right? You were also helping pretty much the female shit in QC, Cardi, right? And essentially, now, the chicks you help, they're working with Nikki. And now, you know, might just be a little tension. Anyway, it all culminates to this, and I know I'm sorry for the long talk up, but I know I don't cover female stuff all the time, but I clearly see what's going on. Cardi B and JT just get into it. Now, um... This is how it gets kicked off. Cardi B says that's a lap dog. Now, why? Why is why is she calling JT a lap dog? Now, JT was on JT Nicki Minaj live. Everybody felt like she was just like bowing down to Nicki. Here we go. Face. I almost want to treat you really sick, and I and I just like being nervous, but we will meet. And um, I think that. 
I'm gonna let you go to bed. Yes, baby, thank you. I love you dearly and I appreciate you so much for doing on the Queen Mix and shout out to our other babies. So we are we are officially our group name is Queen Mix in case y'all bitches and y'all does did not know. It's yes. me, Jatavia, Bia, uh, Malibu, Aqua hey. B, Roman. Yeah, let's get Okay, let me also stop it right here. There's something just pathetic and disgusting that's going on in, in music. Like, you know, all these women, they seem to like, you know, and, and by the way, I understand it. You know, maybe I shouldn't say pathetic and disgusting because these women grew up on Nicki Minaj. And when you grew up and Nicki was your idol, just like how a lot of people grew up and they didn't really, even though they loved Nicki, they didn't want to pick a side against Lil' Kim because they grew up and Lil' Kim was their idol. You know what I mean? So uh, a lot of these chicks, they want to be accepted by Nicki. But let's be honest, like Nikki really don't want nobody to be her equal. She don't want to she don't want to be like, yo, this is the next. Yo, she's not gonna tell her like she's not trying to pass the torch. Like you see what Wayne did with Drake? She's not trying to do that. You know, I ain't gonna lie to you. I've always said I think Nikki would feel a little bit better because she wants the superiority complex over all these women who I get it. They all grew up watching her. But just start a label, just sign all of them. You won't feel bad if they're doing good. You know what I mean? You don't have to feel bad if, oh, shit, she's having success with my op. Like, you know, Nikki's about to be 40, but she's, like, kind of still petty on the shit, right? So, essentially, she gives these girls looks, and all these girls just suck. I mean, they're sucking the blood out of her clit, like, going crazy. Like, every one of them. I mean, if you ever see Nikki on live with these girls, they're selling their soul. They're selling everything. They'll do anything, anything. I mean, they would, like, like I guarantee if they were around Nikki and Nikki cut, like, a, a wet fart, they would be like, what's that? Oh, my God. What's that? What's that fragrance? Is that Tom Ford? Oh, my God. Is that? Oh, oh my. This got to be Dior. I'm telling you. Like, it's, it's, it's sickening, actually. But I understand it. You know what I mean? They looked up to her. Nikki, every time I see it, and this is just my opinion. I could be wrong. It's always demeaning. Nikki, Nikki might be saying, you know, um, friendly things and like girly and this and third. But Nikki always makes it very clear to the audience that that's this chick is bowing down and kissing the fucking ring every single time. I don't care how it looks. This chick is kissing the ring. I don't need her. She needs me every single time I watch it and watch it. And they all squirm and like you could tell you're. Your, your your arm is getting twisted to fucking kiss the ring. Y'all all do it. Y'all got to do it. And you know why y'all got to do it? Because y'all don't got no fan base like Snicky fan base, okay? Y'all can't. Most, you see, let me also explain the type of woman that's doing this. And this is why she fell out with most of the women who either tried to do it before or tired of doing it. For example, Meg Thee Stallion. Meg Thee Stallion got a little hotties following or whatever, and she just stopped fucking with that shit. She, like, you know what I mean? She was really cool with, with her and Nikki. Then you know what happened? She did a song with, with with Cardi. Nikki don't fuck with her no more. You get me? Nikki's just sending subliminals to her. She's Nikki's dissing her in this song. That's why I tell uh, uh, um, um, Meg, pick up a stick. Here's another problem with what's going on in rap. Nobody's picking up no sticks. Okay? Pick up the Glock with the switchy. Get in the booth. Drop a diss. Like, yo, don't let these chicks talk to you like that. Do you think that, and this is my question to every female rapper. I know you want her little fan base, little barbs. I get it. I know. You yearn for it. Y'all all are so jealous of it. Y'all used to be barbs. Y'all are barbs yourselves. But let me ask y'all a question. Do you think by sucking her fucking nipple, y'all will ever get her fan base rather than rapping to go get it? Y'all never, not because y'all are alive and she's giving y'all a cosign and she's making you kiss the ring means you're going to, the barbs are only loyal to Nicki Minaj. Nobody else. They'll only be fucking with you for as long as Nicki tells them to. I see Nikki. Nikki talks in code. Nikki's a yo, Nikki. Kudos. I've never seen a control like. I mean, well, I've never seen. Um, potentially, Beyonce could have had that, but Beyonce never used her fan base like this. Nikki talks in codes to her fan base. When Nikki types, yo, I'm gonna go to Nikki's Twitter feed and show y'all some shit. Nikki literally basically says, "If any Barb supports my op, kick him out the fan club." Do you know what it does to a fucking fan who probably like Nikki follows these people back, like their tweets, whatever, whatever. These fans are so brainwashed. Just that threat, bro, they will stop supporting anybody. And it's hundreds of, it's millions of them, actually. So Nikki controls these people. And if Nikki don't feel like Nikki wheels them at her very wish, and these other artists, they're trying to stay in Nikki's favor because they want Nikki to wheel them in their favor, right? 
But I also look at them, I'm like, yo, is it a fulfilling career that you're actually having if you need to suck up to this woman and you can't work with half the industry because of her and you got to play these politics, which is her politics, and you basically are never, you're always going to be an underling. The woman is 40. And y'all niggas, y'all scared to pick up a stick. You're never going to get her fan base by being on live with her and key key with her and chatting with her and laughing with her. Make a diss song. Make a hot song. Make some hits. But here's the problem. None of y'all can do music. That's the fucking problem. That's why I'm not mad that nigga treat y'all like that. Y'all can't do shit. Y'all don't make no good music. Y'all be basically just begging to be on a remix. Like, come the fuck on. The billboards is just not your friend. Y'all on every, y'all on every chart but the billboard chart. Okay? If y'all was on the... They should have a chart. How many times are you posted on the shade room this week for your relationship? Y'all would top that shit. Are you ever on the billboard charts? Nope. Are you posted 3 million times this week for you and your relationship goals? Yep. Of course Nikki don't respond to y'all. No, no, no. Of course she don't respect y'all. Because y'all got to kiss the ring. She realizes y'all are pawns. And you know what she does? Because she already went there with, with Cardi. She knows... That was the first time I seen Nikki break down a little bit. Because Nikki said, there's a hate train against me. Look how they treated me. It's the first time I seen Nikki get bullied in this industry when she went up against Cardi. She ain't go head to head with Cardi since. She fell back. And you know what she does now? She plays chess. And I like that, Nikki, because you have a lot of pawns. They're all pawns. All these new chicks are pawns. They all want to get on your live and just like kiki with you because they want to verse. So you know what Nikki does? I'm going to give you a shout out. I'm going to give you a follow. I'm going to give you a remix, and you know what you do? Go attack that bitch, or you go subtweet her, or you go, you don't work with her, and I'm going to play this little game, and Nikki's amazing with it. Again, you can't blame Nikki when she knows these chicks can't pick up a stick. They can't pick up a stick. So why are y'all all just, oh, my God, Nikki, you know why? Nikki know y'all couldn't make a hit if y'all life depended on these, uh, 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 on, uh, on y'all selves. That's the problem. That's the problem. And this is why, in reality, Nikki ain't going to motherfucking wear. We haven't seen, like, even though I love Cardi, you know, Cardi's a really nice person. We talk all the time. But I don't know if Cardi is the person to knock Nikki off, really. I don't think Cardi will be the woman to succeed Nikki. I don't know if her musical drive is there. I don't know if she will be. I don't know if she'll be. It takes a certain type of person to be the queen. And Nikki became that person. Nikki wanted to be that. That was her only life goal. I think Cardi's happy with family. And I think Cardi, I don't think Cardi yearns to be that. I think she just likes doing music when she wants to, but she likes chilling with her husband and chilling with her kids. Nikki, it took Nikki until 38 till she, till she had a kid. She ain't married none. She ain't let none of these fuck niggas get her pregnant before now. She was all focused on her career. The person who's probably gonna knock Nikki off, we don't even know. And that person's gonna want to be exactly like Nikki. They're gonna sacrifice the same things for Nikki because you're, what you're gonna watch is there's a certain type of archetype you have to be to become the queen. And Nikki knows Nikki. Nikki checks every new chick really quickly to see what type of time they on. If they're a threat, and she usually gets them out of the paint early. Glorilla going to do it? No. To be that, you have to be a sex symbol. You have to be a sex icon for the whole world. That's not Glorilla. I'm sorry. Glorilla still can't rap like Nikki. Like, Nikki could rap with niggas. It's just not there yet. Trust me on this. It's like, the person ain't here yet. What Nikki's fighting against is that she don't want to be like she she's still in the ring boxing because girls like Cardi used to make the narrative of how she used to run shit um look 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 like she was getting old and she was being bitter. Cardi and them used to embrace the new girls. There was a time that Nikki was not doing all this with all the new girls. Nikki just recently started doing this really where she got all like she hopping all their songs. Yeah. And by the way, good for her. Kudos. You got to give her credit. But let's keep it real. There was a time Nikki was just talking like, Yo, you bitches are my son. She wasn't really working with these chicks. She was working with niggas. I would say Cardi started embracing a lot of these girls way before. A lot of people used to say when they did deal with, with Nikki, it would be a lot of jealousy and shit like that. 
or or or, or, or like you know kind of yo i'm fucking with you to keep you underneath me this is what it is so anyway um I, I know i'm going all over the place but this is a long conversation right so when we see where is it where is it when we see cardi says lapdog she's just basically dissing jt to say you're Nicki Minaj's lap. You're the new lap dog for Nicki Minaj. A lap dog is a person you go send to do dirty work. Like, yo, okay, just because you're getting petted by the owner, you about to go do some dumb shit. Feel me? Clearly, I guess it was DMing or something because JT caught the sub and she responded, wiener dog. I didn't get that one, but okay. And then um, she said, I hope you don't think you no bully. I bet. Let's keep it going. Cardi says, go fetch. You see, Cardi basically, like, she peep game. Yo, yo, you chicks is just acting like, yo, y'all are Nicki Minaj attack dogs. That's all y'all are. Like, Nicki don't want to step to Cardi now. I'm telling you. Nicki, which, by the way, I don't know how it will go, go. Because at the end of the day, I think Cardi is way more likable. Remember, I told you, it's better to be liked than to be right. Cardi, Cardi is more liked in outside of Nicki's fan base Cardi is more liked by the industry, more liked by general fans more than Nicki. Remember I said, it's better to be liked than to be right. It don't matter that Nicki could rap better. It don't matter about these other intangibles. It don't matter. Who's liked more? Cardi. This is why they're having these issues. Okay. So JT go uh, JT finally just addresses this and said, Cardi, you you fetch a real fucking talent. You DMing, why you come on here to put on a show for these kids? Somebody says, yo, did Nikki put you up to this? Which, obviously, that's what Cardi's alluding to anyway. By the way, there's some subtweet before. There was a bunch of subtweet. That's why this shit kicked off. And I guess they'd gotten the DMs and it went public, right? JT says, no, 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 no. See? Y'all want to know so bad to be wrong. I don't gossip with her about nobody. All of this is because of fan pages, okay? Now, that's another thing, too. Fan pages divide like i'm not gonna lie like if you ever look at any like you know obviously we have chart data and certain other people who report stats and streams and shit like that you will have the cardi like st stand pages and the nikki stand pages all they do is troll other women lack of sales or flops and report their wins so so the fan pages create this like adversarial type of um 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 fucking atmosphere but it's not only the fan pages bro again i'm gonna go to Nicki minaj actually let me do it now you, you want to go to Nicki minaj um um twitter account let's decipher what Nicki's on Nicki b i'm telling you she controlled these bar i've never seen some shit like this bro this is if i'm her i wouldn't like this is her all her fun first of all you could tell who she who she be for this is if you ever want um um if you ever want to figure out who Nicki is going at go to her likes first thing you got to do go to her likes Go to her likes. Here we go. She just like this on the third. Y'all forgot that fast. So Nikki gave her fan. Think about this. This is a mental illness. Nikki gave the barbs a rule. Apparently Lotto said. Listen, I'll tell you the whole story. Like I know all this shit. Lotto said something. Nikki unfollowed Lotto. Right. And now Nikki is telling her fans. Since I don't follow her. None of y'all better fuck with her. And Nikki's basically threatening her fans like, we'll kick you out the barb the barbhood if you don't listen to what I say. So this is what one of them is saying. Ken Barb, this is the person's name. Y'all forgot that fast, <laughs> right? This is what Nikki tweeted. No, babe. The rule is, imagine talking to your fans like, yo, you're literally telling them how to act as people. Go comment, I guess, but don't retweet the dud. So essentially, she's saying, you could go troll the person I don't fuck with. So, like, if you want to tweet or uh, comment at them, like, say, yo, Nikki better or whatever the case is. Or it'd be like, yo, just say some shit to piss them off. Cool. But don't retweet them. She's calling the dud the person she don't fuck with. She's talking about Lotto, bro. That's just what it is. Don't retweet the dud. Don't quote tweet the dud. Mm, think what else? This is how she talks to her fans. Like, she's giving them rules on how to fucking use their own internet. These motherfuckers is acting like Nikki's paying their bill. Like, imagine your favorite artist saying, you got to do these things to remain a fan of mine. That's just what it is. Okay, cool. All right. Bro, all you got to do is go to her likes because, you know, like, she, she tries to communicate in these, like, weird ways. But, like, you know, like, it's like a preteen girl. Like, yo, you ever dealt with a girl in college? 
If you ever want to know what mood she's in, go to her likes. Man, I know I shouldn't. I know I should have stayed single for the summer, and I should have been on my uh, uh, F R E E fuck nigga free shit. You know what it means? She just wasted her time with some nigga. Like, bro, women give away their whole mood by just go to their likes. Like, do I need to like <laughs> decipher this? So, <laughs> Nikki thinks she probably be mad covert, bro. You and your likes all the time sending a message. <clears throat> okay, cool. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Let me see. <coughs> I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna find some shit, right? Okay, look at this one. She liked this tweet. For someone who uses her likeness, I would I would think you understand a few things about her now. Barbs, this is the first sign of betrayal. Unfollow immediately if you happen to follow this guy. When she likes this. This is a, a hint to her whole follower base. This person is kicked out of the barbhood. Now, let's see what this person did or what their picture is. I don't know what it is. Hopefully, we don't know why shit on the profile. Yeah, this nigga look like a barb. <laughs> this look like a barb. Pause. Like, what the fuck? Pause, bro. Pause. Let me just get off of this page, bro. Like, pause. Like, pause, bro. Let me Pause, bro. Bruff. Bruff. Okay, let me. I'm, I'm. I'm just trying to show you. The, the, the thing is, here we go. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna try to. <coughs> Did she unlike her shit? There was a whole bunch of shit she liked, bro. Look like they've been arguing this one guy a lot. I don't know what he did. I guess they kicked him out of the Barbie, the Barbie bus. Oh no. Let me see if I can find it. Here we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna find it. You gotta catch it right when there's like some back and forth going on. Hold on. Oh my god, bro. This is like so dangerous being on Twitter. Ah, right, you know, yeah, I don't want to go through her likes just just off the fact that you're like I don't want like to be a fucking naked thing on this shit or a nigga with his dangling eye, bro. I'm going to keep it 100 with you, bro. I'm going to keep it 100 with you. Like, I'm kind of scared. I'm going to see, like, some shit I don't want to see, bro. And, 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 like, Twitch not going to fuck with it. Okay. Anyway, when she tweeted out shit like this, she dissing somebody. I don't know who she dissing. I think she, this is this is Cardi. Obsession. Okay. Anyway, um, what did she say here? This is how she controls these motherfuckers, bro. Yeah, Barb's. I was about to go to bed. Because I was about to and it dawned on me. <sighs> I forgot to tell you guys something. It's the most important thing. Yo, Nikki like a cult leader, bro. Like, <laughs> she's like a cult leader, bro. I kid you not. I mean, shit. It's a thin line between fan stands and like, yo, this is just a fucking cult type shit. You feel me? I'm, just, I'm trying to see, make sure I, there's no like nudity and shit like that. Okay, hold on. Shit, I got I gotta like vet these 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 posts. Hold on. Okay, so apparently her fans know. I guess she follows a bunch of them. I always say the first rule of protecting someone's peace is to respect their wishes. Her peace is important to me, so I'll keep all the duds blocked. Remember, the duds are our ops. So she, her fans, which by the way, all of these fans, they're just called. Something Mirage fan account. They'll just be called fucking a fan account. You get what I mean? This person made a Twitter with their own internet service, with their own energy, 
But they can't tweet what they want on their timeline because Nikki possibly sees it. And if Nikki sees one of her ops, a.k.a. the duds, it will upset Nikki's peace so they won't tweet in the possibility of upsetting Nikki. Look how Nikki responds to it. Look, look what this person says. I don't know how many times she got to tell y'all not to put them faces on her timeline. It's annoying. No, she says, babe, send me your cash app. I'm a Sag. We're seekers of truth and understanding. So I truly value gems and people who give me gems in life. Gems are sent directly from above. Yo, Nikki 40 and some of these people are just like 14, bro. Actually, no, these are probably grown people. I ain't gonna lie to you. Look, I'm disqualifying everybody who can't follow simple instructions. Nigga, this sounds like a cult. Okay, in honor of Fine Nine, which barb are you? You can only choose one. When you choose it, tweet it. Tweet it one time. In one tweet. Once. Go. When I'm talking to chat barbs or when I'm talking to the smart barbs, fun barbs, management. What the fuck? Getting all followed for dragging a dud via quote tweets is my biggest fear. So I just ignore the dud behavior these days. Nikki replies, LOL. Look, look, look how she gives it. Look, look at it. This. this is crazy. Refer to all known duds by their nickname or their Nikki name. So N Nikki has renamed all her ops. And she's telling her fans, don't call them by their name. Call them by the name I gave them. If you know, other than that, yes. Look, somebody says, wait, okay, so no writing the name of the dud? Ding, ding, ding. Somebody says, just don't put the dud upon your timeline. Ding, ding, ding. Do you hear this? Let me tell you this, man. Nikki has a fan base that I've never seen any artist have that they could control and manipulate like this, man. It's it's kind of crazy. It's crazy, bro. If she's doing that with fans, imagine these artists who are fanning out too. She's doing it to them too. Okay. So let's go back to the JT and Cardi shit. JT says... I'm not like that at all. I've been doing remixes and never got credit for it. Oh, because somebody says, yo, JT, Akbar, Bia, and Katie bands after seeing Glorilla. So Glorilla got a top 10 hit, right? And, and I believe the top 10 song has Cardi B on. It's called Tomorrow. I, you know, I like Glorilla. So they calling out these girls to say, y'all all sucking Nick, Nicki Minaj's clip. And y'all all doing it for a top 10 song while another artist just got a top 10 song without doing that. And they did it without Nikki. So what was the point? Right? So some people call him out for dick riding. Hear what JT says. I'm not like that at all. I've been doing remixes and never got credit on a chart. But they get sung word for word and help push original songs as intended. Unlike y'all, well, I can't even say y'all because you don't rap. You tweet. Congratulations to Glow. Stream. Fuck nigga free remix and the queen mix. Cardi on her head. Here what Cardi says. And my records live in the top 10. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> ah, shit. She said my records live in the top 10. <laughs> then JT responds. She says, wait, I'm back for this last tweet because who doing anything for doggy treats? If anything, Glorilla have... Have a, uh, if anything, Glorilla have you a bone or, or gave. Glorilla gave you a bone. Oh, wait, wait, wait why do they have Cardi's tweet? Let me read Cardi tweet first. Matter of fact, I'm not even doing this on the timeline. It's becoming real repetitive for the doggy treats. We already addressed it in DMs. Goodbye, y'all. She says, wait, I'm back for the last tweet because who doing anything for doggy treats? If anything, Glorilla gave you a bone that you needed to go feed that dog that you was posing by the pool with for hot shit. Fancy pants. 
And um, somebody says, somebody says, damn, she really be keeping up with Cardi's feed. And then JT says, yes, because I had no problem with her. Wrong bitch. That was y'all making a fake ass problem. And she went for it. So JT saying she never had no problem with Cardi B and that fans made an issue out of it. And Cardi B bit for that. Then this one right here. So Cardi says, so wait, me and you talking in the DM, woman to woman, but you take it to the timeline and throw shots, call me a bully and a wiener. Why are you playing dumb and you talking about talent? Ha, you forgot. Um, I think she said that, like, I remember, I seen it somewhere else. It's like, you forgot that P was telling you to rap like me. Like, there's a video of P saying that or something like that. JT says, no, you wanted our written for our hooks, for our sound, because you clearly have none. Ask getting right, I write my own shit, you know that. Then this comes again. Um, she says that was before you replied and said you was talking about me. So I said, tell the world why you said I'm a lap dog, Cardi. Then Cardi says, hot shit debut more than any song you ever dropped or been on, Prison Pants. Everything, everybody has been has good and bad moments, but you haven't had one since what? Act up. Holy shit. Yo, JT, I'm going to keep it 100 with you. And I want to be neutral in this, but Cardi right. This is why all them, the, the shenanigans for the features, it ain't, yo, they're always going to diss you like this. They're always going to be like, oh, you don't have no songs by yourself because it looked like y'all just dick ride Nikki. Like, bro, like, that's what I'm saying. Some of y'all, y'all need to pick up a, a stick, like, Pick up a pen, write some lyrics, pick up like some beats, make some hot songs, grow your following, and then people wouldn't call you Dick Rodden. They wouldn't say that you're you're like you're like jumping for doggy treats because you're want you want to get on a Nikki song that you could chart high. You could be like, no, I don't need a Nikki song. I chart high by myself. But none of y'all could say that except Glorilla and Cardi B, and probably Meg and Doja. And I'll throw Lotto in it. Lotto got big energy. That she was rocking. But has anything else but Big Energy went crazy? Anyway, let's keep going. Cardi said, I definitely didn't. P wanted me to me to put me into your writers because y'all numbers making pennies. The talent speak for itself. So she shows a screenshot that the song she did with them has 270-something million views and then the other songs barely have, like, I know y'all can't see it, but it's, like, really low. It's, like, 20 million each, pretty much. Then she says, uh, I guess Cardi says, didn't I hit you back in the DM 20 minutes ago? But I got to come in the timeline for a response, and you're mute already, but you're steady arguing here. Like I said, this shit for a show, opportunist. And, she, and JT says, maybe both are timing off, but how am I an opportunist? You call me a lap dog for no fucking reason. Makes sense. But back to the DMs I go. Okay, it don't look like it don't look like JT trying to beef, bro. Yeah, Cardi, you got to deactivate, man. It don't look like she's trying to beef. She, I, I think she felt like you were, you just jumped out the window and dissed her, um, and she feel like the problem came from you misinterpreting, maybe read into some fan fan page shit. Nah, because the JT who I'm thinking about, she's hella spicy, and right here she I I wouldn't say she copping, please, but she's not trying to beef, bro. Yeah, I don't think Cardi trying to beef. Then also, uh, what happens next, JT says, I wish I would ever let a chart make me feel less of a star. I literally came from nothing and did this shit with the rap I wrote on the road while hitting licks. I did my time like a real bitch, and a bitch ain't scratched me in there, and, I, and always for extra chicken on Thursdays. And, and, uh, what? and always for extra chicken on Thursdays. I ain't never shamed. Yeah, JT's grounded. She's grounded. But this is definitely cope. It's like, yeah, don't shame me because I don't got no hits. Like, I came from nothing. You know what I mean? Then she says, so don't talk about, so don't talk to me about no charts. None of y'all. I don't been in rooms with top writers and told me they shit was, and told them they shit was whack. Same writers that quick to drag female rappers. Oh, I wrote this and that. The shit's embarrassing and sad. Then she said, the industry not even designed for girls like me to win. Let's be real. All this 
Shit is politics. P always told us to get that shit out of the mud. Grind hard. I laid down because I get discouraged from all these labels paying for every motherfucking thing. Mm, damn. I feel bad for JT now. I guess this is what they were talking about with P saying they should rap like Cardi. Here we go. Then like when Cardi recorded her song, how it's a minute before that beat kick in. You want people to just be sitting there listening, like feeling you what you what you talking about before you just come in and talking that shit. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. They're listening like when Cardi recorded her song, how Damn. It's kind of sad because as I said, I don't think JT wanted to. I think JT's naturally happy. She's she got a song or she's on a song with with, with Nicki, but fans are gonna like hype it up. I think Cardi probably did. She did bite. You know what I mean? She bit the bait. But regardless, like let's just think about the bigger picture here, man. JT, you ended up being a pawn for for Nicki. Like trust me, Nicki not gonna fuck with you after this song's done. You know what I mean? Now you and Cardi have a strained relationship. Like. Fortunately, I got to tell y'all females to put y'all own work in, man. Build y'all own cloud up. Build y'all own situation up. Because it kind of feels bad when y'all getting thrown in situations where we really know. And by the way, in the midst of this, I don't know if, I don't know if people realize in the midst of this, in the midst of this whole beef, hold on. In the midst of the whole beef, both of them changed their fucking profile picture. Like Nicki Minaj and Cardi B. Cardi B changed, Nicki changed her profile to JT because she's supporting her. As I said, Nicki uses these girls like pawns. So Nicki's like, yo, go attack her, attack her, attack her, right? So of course, Nicki gonna change her profile picture to JT to like passively to support like, yo, Barb's, y'all go support her while she beefing with my op. You feel me? And of course, Cardi, who's now hip to the game, Cardi changes her profile pic to to, to Remy Ma, and Remy Ma obviously, you know, did cheat her and, and was beefing with, with um, Nicki Minaj. So it's kind of sad, bro. It's kind of sad. Oh, boy. Oh, that shit has got me tired, nigga. I'm getting the fuck off here. Did I not cover anything else? Oh, I just want to talk about this shit real quick. What are y'all opinions on um what's y'all opinions on my man um 